guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to an After Effects tutorial. Uh, just excuse my voice, I'm having a little bit of a cold, uh, but hopefully you can still hear me. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at creating this F zoom animation where we'll sort of pan over the planet. And uh, this was all created with uh, a single image. This is the image that I started off with and then I added other elements such as this um, aura effect around the edge which is constantly uh, changing shape and sort of moving. Uh, we also have a starry background in the uh, back there and we have a sun which was made using optical flares. Okay so let's take a look at how we get from this to this. So. The first thing is we just need to drop this image into a new comp and uh, I'm going to make this half res. So I'll go for 960 by 540 and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to scale it to 50%. And uh, the first step is to basically cut out the planet and just uh, remove this uh, ugly flare up here and uh, yeah so if we go to the pen tool I can select Roto Bezier and this allows me to draw a curved edge along the planet. You can use the pen tool in a more traditional way if you wish where you have handles. Uh, you could even use an ellipse too if you wanted to but uh, I think for the sake of this tutorial this should work pretty well anyway. So let's uh, just finish right here. And uh, now we have just the planet. Uh, one other thing I should correct before I think of any animation is um, this is a bit tilted toward the right. I want this to be level. So if I go to the rotation, I already did this in the practice run. I need to change this to minus 1.3. And uh, this is now going to be straight. So let's uh, uh, next up, you want to pre compose that earth layer. Let's call this earth pre. Let's move all the attributes into a new comp. And by the way, you can uh, do this with any planet picture you want. It could be a different image of the earth, it could be a completely different planet. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as you follow uh, the key steps, you'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to duplicate that comp. Go to Effect on the bottom comp. Go to Blur and Sharpen. Box Blur. I'm going to have a radius of 5 and 5 iterations. And this is going to give me a glow around the edge. I'm going to repeat edge pixels to close off that little dark edge there. I'm also going to tone this to be more blue instead of um, sort of white. Uh, so if I go to color correction, CC toner, in the midtones I can load up blue. And uh, the same for the highlights. So now I have a nice blue atmospheric look on the edge there. I'm also going to soften up this edge. I think it's uh, too harsh right now. So if I go into any of these comps, I can go to the feathering of this mask and maybe leave it at 5. So it's going to be nice and soft. And this is the result. Let's say uh, rename uh, this comp at the bottom to be called Earth Pre. And uh, next up we can create the starry background. And for this we're going to begin with a solid. 960 by 540, which is basically the same as our comp. Let's say I put this below everything and rename this stars. And now uh, we can pre comp it. Call it stars pre. Hit OK. Let's go in here. I'm going to go to effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. I'm going to put the scale to just 4 the contrast to 250 and the brightness to minus 125 and this is going to give you like a star filled effect let me remove this guide I don't need it anymore 
I'm going to duplicate the stars layer, control and D, and set the blending mode to add. It's going to brighten up everything, but um, you want to go to your mask and just draw some random shapes. We're trying to create some areas which are brighter, sort of like a cluster effect. And this kind of looks like a smiley face or some sorts. Okay, let's uh, go to the brightness of this new duplicated layer and let's increase it. So we have uh, more stars in those masks. We can feather these masks out by maybe 75 pixels each. So we get a nice gradual fade into the more populated areas. I'm also going to add an adjustment layer. Go to Effect, Stylize and Glow. I'm going to lower the threshold quite a lot and increase the radius. So we have this hazy, starry effect going on and I think this looks pretty cool. Going back to the main comp, this needs to be below everything and you can see it in the background right there. Okay, um, next up is that uh, aura effect. And for this, we're going to be creating another solid. Let's call this the order. And let's put this above the stars but below the two earth comps. Let's call this one earth glow, just so we don't confuse these two. Anyway, we're going to pre-comp this, call it uh, aura pre, hit OK. Let's uh, go in here, let's add some fractal noise again. And let's go to the contrast. Let's set this to 300 and uh, the transform, the scale will bring this down to maybe 65 or so. Uh, we we want to animate this to be uh, just not stagnant like this because right now if we take a look at the example you can see that uh, this is constantly evolving throughout the entire animation and uh, we need to do the same to this noise. So if I go to the evolution, I can hold AOT on my keyboard and set an expression here. And in the expression editor, I'm just going to type out time times 50. And uh, to generate this evolution value, basically After Effects is going to look at the time and times it by 50. So you get a continuous animation which never ends. So you don't need any uh, actual keyframes. Okay, uh, we need to we need to make it uh, look wispy and uh, look like rays of some sort. And uh, for this, we're going to be using CC Radial Blur, which can be found in the Blur and Sharp in the submenu and CC Radial Blur. And uh, we're going to put the amount to 50 and the type to Straight Zoom. And then we need to get the center and pull it all the way down. If I hold shift, this is going to go straight down and you can see these rays are pointing upward now. The reason I use CC radial blur instead of directional blur is that you get angled strokes to begin with and they straighten out and then they angle out again. And if you look at the shape of the earth, it kind of follows that. So in the earth comp, I'm going to go to our pen tool, go on the aura layer and let's just uh, draw out a random mask around the edge here. Let's keep going all the way around and close this off. Oops, here we go. And I want to feather this by maybe 50. So we get this uh, aura effect which is constantly moving. This might be a little bit too high, so I'm going to go to the mask expansion and just uh, lower this down. Okay, I think I we're looking pretty good so far. Let's uh, tone this to be green. I'm using our CC toner effect once again. So color correction and CC toner. For the mid-tones, we're going to go for a greenish color, something like this. And for the highlights, we're going to go for black. And that creates a nice contrast. But if you want to boost that contrast, you can go to uh, color correction curves and uh, let's lower the blacks 
and bring out the whites like this. So you get some nice uh, strong contrast there. Maybe just desaturate this uh, green and maybe brighten it. I think uh, we're in the money. All right, uh, the next element is obviously the sun. So for this one, create a new solid. Let's call this the sun and let's put this above everything. Let's go to effect, video copilot and element. Oops, <laughs> I'm so used to using element. I always just grab it by accident. Uh, we need actually to get optical flares. Let's go to the options and there's a really good preset somewhere. Uh, let me see if I can find it really quickly. Okay. Uh, it's the real sun uh, preset. I'm just going to hit OK. Set the blending mode to add. And we basically want to move this to about here or so. There's way too much glow on this, so I'm going to go to the options, go to the main glow element here, and uh, go to its gamma and set this lower. So something like 0.5 is going to work pretty well. So it's not as uh, overpowering as it were before. I'm also going to just shift the center position to be around about here. And uh, we can just animate this moving up. So at frame zero, we're going to set the position. Go to five seconds. And let's move this up. Maybe move it out of the frame completely. Or just sort of halfway. So we can just see that little bit of a glow, but it's still just there. And uh, we're going to go back to frame zero and uh, put this up about here. Okay, so this is just going to animate out. I'm going to move this center point to be around about here or so. Okay, so now that we have all the elements set in place, we actually want to animate them to have that sort of pan over zoom effect. So if I uh, pre-compose a few of these elements, we're going to get the earth pre, earth glow, and aura pre. We will leave the stars and the sun. So let's pre-compose everything. Let's call this uh, Earth Elements. Hit OK. And uh, the first thing we need to do, let's uh, go and shut off this uh, Aura effect. It's really quite extensive on your resources. Uh, it takes a lot of processing to do those rays. So let's shut it off for now so we can work a little faster. OK, with the Earth Elements selected, we want to move the anchor point to the top edge here between uh, where the planet finishes and where this glow begins basically. So this also needs to be centered so if I enable my title and action safe I can uh, use this as a guide. If I go to the pan behind tool I can get this anchor point right here and move it to the top and I can just check with the guide to see if that's actually centered and uh, it is. We can shut off the guides for now and basically just want to animate this scaling up. So if I set a frame here, I can scale this by 125. Or maybe 135, just so we have uh, more movement. And uh, we're going to only make this uh, 5 seconds long. And uh, you can see that this looks very 2D and looks very fake. We don't get that uh, perspective uh, effect that we get with this other animation. So to get that perspective effect, you need to add uh, effect, distort, and corner pin. And uh, you want to set some keyframes at frame 0. So right there. And go to the 5 second mark. And on the upper left, we basically want to move this in. I want to do this very precisely. So upper left, we're going to move this in by 100. And uh, if you're working at full HD, you would obviously have this as 200 or whatever scale you're working at. You just want to adapt this to match that. For the upper right, we want to bring this in. So we'll set the upper right to 960 minus 100. 
and uh, that's going to move in this direction. And then at the bottom here, we're going to move this out in the opposite direction as the top and also twice as much. So for the lower left, I'm going to go to minus 200 and it's to the left. And the lower right, we're going to have this as plus 200. And uh, this is going to basically move out. So what we get is uh, this sort of expanding uh, animation, which obviously doesn't look uh, that great. We need to make one more adjustment. If I press the position of this uh, earth element, I can set a keyframe at frame zero, go to five seconds, and I want to move it down to match up with the anchor point right there. Right then, yeah, I added a guide here to help me out as well. So let's bring this down to about here. And at around two and a half seconds, we just need to adjust this a little more just to be right on target there. Okay, so now if I remove those guides and remove this uh, title safe and preview this, you can see we have a forced 3D perspective over this image. And I think it uh, looks really interesting kind of makes it look like a spherical, but we all know that it's not. Okay, so let's uh, go back into the add elements and let's um, bring back that aura. I'm also gonna do a little CC on this planet. If I go to the add pre, I'm gonna go to effect, color correction and curves. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, go to the red channel and uh, remove the reds from the shadows go to the blue channel and bump up the blues in the shadows and maybe the green just a touch and uh, this really uh, bright orange glow I think it uh, matches our sun but uh, if you wanted to dim it you actually can if you go to color correction uh, U and saturation let's put this before the curves let's go to the let's say the yellows uh, we want to desaturate the yellows and you can see that's desaturating that hot highlight uh, I think this is more in the red range though. So if we get uh, these handles, we can just move them this way and uh, Really push out some of that uh, Really strong highlight to blend in with the rest of the planet Thing about here looks pretty good. So this is after and this is before just nerfed it a little bit and uh, if we go back to the main comp I think that looks uh, pretty good and that's it uh, that is how you animate a planet image or the earth image whatever you have you can uh, make it seem as if it's 3d so thanks for watching I will see you in the next tutorial bye